Behind me, there are six men who all have something in common. I'm a bodybuilder. Except for one. This is five bodybuilders versus one powerlifter. Five of you guys are bodybuilders, and there's one of you in here that's a powerlifter. A very good one, may I add. Over 15 national records across two federations and came second at North American Championships. Eliminate the powerlifter, make it to the end, and if you're right, you have a juicy prize waiting for you. Are you guys ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Just like your Google search history, a gym bag is gonna tell you a lot about who you are. One by one, you're gonna introduce yourselves and show us what's in your gym bag. I'll go. Jason, let's go, All stepping right. up. So I've got some clothes that I wore here. I've got some powerlifting shoes. Oh. Yikes. Bad start. I've got some knee sleeves. Oh boy. Oh. As soon as he opened his bag, he had like every single piece of niche powerlifting equipment you could possibly buy. And I got a belt. Some elbow sleeves. Ooh. And then some straps as well. This belt though. Jeez. This belt, th this is a this is a powerlifting belt. It even has like the lift. Are those the lifts that you've gotten over the years? That's my brother's belt, so hand me down. I swear. <laughs> I, I, okay. You got sleeves, you got yeah, wrist straps. You got there's, there's, you know, there's nothing like natural in there. Jason's bag, it had so much equipment in there. You know, as a bodybuilder, you, you're, you're trying to use as much muscle as possible. As a power lifter, you're trying to lift as much as possible. It's, well, mm, I don't know, take your it's, pick. It's all assisted, we'll you know? You need some help lifting all and your stuff. And there's no powders. That's pretty sus to me. All right, who's next? I'll go. Davian. Got my Tresemme extra hold because these workouts get that? pretty intense. It's hairspray. Okay. Hairspray. Oh, okay. Hairspray. It's got a camera I think that, on that's it. a bodybuilder thing, hairspray. Right? Yeah. I've got my own rope attachment. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I'm not getting chlamydia. Rope attachments at my That's gym. a bodybuilder. I also have my own clips. Because I like these ones. They just work a lot better. Um, I don't know. He, I feel like something's about him. I don't know. Just He looks like a powerlifter and stuff, so. <laughs> to me, it's obvious. It's Brandon. He's got the power lifter build, and uh, it's just obvious. It's gotta be Jason. I feel really bad, because when I got here, he like introduced himself to me, and he's just a really nice guy. It's a pretty easy pick for round one. So okay. I don't know if anyone found it suspicious. I mean, when he pulled out the rope, I was like, you're a bodybuilder, but when he pulled out the clips. I think the sunglasses are suspicious. The sunglasses? A little bit of relaxing between sets for power. <laughs> 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 All right, who's next? I'll do it, let's go. Uh, I got my big water bottle because I get thirsty during my lifts. Uh, you got the over-ear headphones. You got an extra pair of underwear after the sauna. I'm a big fan. Um, extra yeah. underwear for the heavy squats. You might shit yourself, right? <laughs> I'll go next. Yeah. Um, Sander, it's my gym bag, my phone. Not a whole lot. It's just the stuff that I wore here today. Extra towel for the sauna. That's a small towel for the sauna, man. <laughs> <laughs> is, that what, is that what you use it for in the sauna? Yeah, just for the face. That's just for the face? Okay. Brandon? Brandon? What's to say? Right. I'll go. Oh. Resistant bands. Um, just an iPhone charger. Ooh. That's an interesting one. The iPhone charger, yeah. And some extra clothes. The iPhone charger <laughs> screams long workout. That, that's what that's I mean. an interesting uh, one. <laughs> how long are you working out where your phone's dying? That's so last but not least, Nico. So, pretty standard gym bag. Uh, it's, not, it's nothing but standard, it's a military bag, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, simple sleeves. Yikes. Ooh. And then just a small belt, very thin. Small? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are pretty simple and standard. It's just he kept like, saying how everything is very standard in there, but then you have to like explain it, elaborate. Uh, if, if, oh. If it was standard, we all, we'd all know what that's it is. A, that's a good point there. Sanders looks very suspicious of you right now. The story's not adding up for me. He was kind of suspicious about how much he had actually used the belt. I think he's working around the fact that like it doesn't get used very often, but that's very worn in for a leather belt. <laughs> well, it, it isn't my belt. Everyone's bag here had something kind of suspicious. So now we're gonna vote. And we're gonna vote somebody off. Majority vote is eliminated. The results are in and one person's going home. And that person is 
Jason. Oh man, the belt gave it away, I guess. Yeah. Thank you, man. Give him a round of applause here. Round number two. To one of you guys, this is this is home. To a bunch of other of you guys, this is the squat rack. If you guys don't know what this is. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to perform a few reps of the squat. After you squat, you have to say, how would you program the squat into your workout routine, if at all? So who wants to go first? Thank you, Davian, let's go. I haven't squatted in like... Oh, here we go. Six here months. Here we go, okay. I just did a show, and we didn't have them in the program on prep, so... You did a show. Okay. I mean, that's depth. So it's I don't know if that's, he could be a power lifter, In that's the depth. Runners is a very like. And that's just good form. He went above three reps. Power lifters don't do that. Programming them into a workout. Don't, don't tell me, convince them. Oh, okay. Compound movements, we really like took out of the plan just because we wanted to focus more on isolation of specific muscle groups. Uh, as you're leaning out, your risk of injury gets so much higher. Especially in your joints, when your body back gets really low. Right and so I'm I, uh, I was just squatting or deadlifting at home for the last like six months. <laughs> I'm completely winded after doing eight reps of what used to be a warm up. Oh, you're winded after eight reps. Yeah. I have a very interesting question. So you had a coach for your prep? Yeah. For your show? Yeah. So my prep, I didn't have any programming of squats or bench. Like everything was machines. That's what I just said. Look at that walkout. That was a good walkout, yeah. Perfect. With a high bar as well. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that bar path. That's like 90 degrees, perfect. Yeah. That's a good That's squat. Not... Is he gonna touch my hand, you think? Like... <laughs> <laughs> a little bit deeper. Oh no, he's going close. <laughs> Will's trying to touch my butt. <laughs> it's not wrong. <laughs> you guys hear that Valsalva maneuver? Yeah, that was, that was a good squat. He had that five was, or six more beautiful. easy. Yeah. I think he was faking how hard he was trying on the squats. <laughs> so, squats are what really help me build my legs. I squat once a week. I actually worked with, this is gonna be rough, but a power lifter coach to make sure that my squat form was proper. I didn't wanna get hurt. I didn't wanna get hurt at all. That's why my squat looks nice. Okay. That was a perfect squat. Yeah. I just wanna I mean, say, maybe, I you really know what? admire that. He, he's, he's saying power lifting coach, maybe he's just trying to throw you off. He's literally giving you the answers right now, but you're like, he wouldn't do that but he's doing it. How frequently are you hitting a one rep max? <laughs> oh, he laughed. Not often, not often. I just, I well, did how it. Is, how often is not often though? Like once every, like five months probably. So what's your PR currently? Uh, three, I want to say like 325, something like that. Really good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Sanders, let's go. Oh, low bar. Low bar. Okay. Low That's bar. a power lifter walkout too. That's a depth. Oh, nice. guys, this isn't a depth off. Just so you know. <laughs> like, you only did three, three reps. Three reps. Three reps. Oh. That's all I got in me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been done squats in so long. You want me to give you a meal now? Trick no. question. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I haven't done I haven't done squats in a while just because it wasn't in any of my programming. I've been kind of on prep. I haven't done a good set of squats since like February. Um, at the beginning, <laughs> I've, I've I feel you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All I've seen is powerlifters do low bar. Sorry, Saunders. Oh, it's it's the low bar squats, man. <laughs> oh, <more> <laughs> Nico. Ooh. Oh, that's a sexy drop. Yeah. Wow. It's <laughs> impressive. The worst squat of the group. He was dropping really quick. If you get a lot of weight on there, you drop so hard, it's, it's rough on the joints. I don't think that's good for longevity. So that, that, that squat looked pretty rough. The other ones were, were pretty nice looking squats. Throw it back, Nico. <laughs> I usually keep the rep range like four by eight to 10. Max I've ever done on this was like 225, 260. Last but not least, Brandon, let's go. That actually hurt my quads. <laughs> Ooh. You hear the bracing? It's a very loud brace. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a sign right there. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting hard from these squats. Solid re-rack. Holy shit. Uh, 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you should do the explaining right. before. Um, for me, I just came back from like an injury recently. So uh, yeah, I would actually focus on like three to four sets of like eight to 12 rep range. Can I ask what the injury was? Uh, I like tore something on my hamstring, on my right leg, so. Just something. <laughs> Just something. You're literally the same I, as Nick Walker. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Uh, right now I weigh around like say 142, 143 around there. It's a big squat. That's a pretty solid squat. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. How many yeah. reps were you hitting? 275. I was going for like eight. So I was on my last set, yeah. I think I know why you tore your hamstring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my PR is actually like 405. I think Brandon shot himself in the foot when he said that at 140, his one rep max is 405. Wow. Oh, yeah, damn, damn. Was like, yeah, that's yeah. like a while ago, so. With all the respect, that's an incredible lift, but I mean, what is that, like a three times body weight squat? That's insane. Yeah. Okay, let's go vote. a harder one. Low bar squatter, you're out of here. This was unexpected, especially in round two. We have a two-way tie. Oh, oh, shit. Between Marcus and Sander. <laughs> you guys are not out yet. You're gonna have 10 seconds to convince the others why you should still be in the game and you're a bodybuilder. So I, I was really nervous about my squats. I wasn't feeling good about them. That's why I got a powerlifting coach. Mine feels pretty self-explanatory. Like I just did a show two weeks ago. I still have the tan on me. Sanders is the bodybuilder. Uh, I was literally at the same show. We did the same show together. So Marcos, you're the, you're the powerlifter. I think Marcos is the powerlifter just because like having a powerlifting coach has gotta be a certain reason why. Um, and I think it is because you are a powerlifter. And I would have to say Marcos is. He looks like a powerlifter to me and um, just, yeah. <laughs> All right, man, All right. I'm sorry. Thank you. And then there were four. Round three, I think is gonna expose some people's weaknesses here because we're gonna have a mini bodybuilding show. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're gonna have a pose off <laughs> for 15 seconds. You can take your shirts off or not, you can take your pants off or not, I recommend both. <laughs> you guys are gonna have five minutes to pump up right now before the show. Okay, okay. And your time starts now. All right. Jesus. Oh God. <laughs> and while they're warming up, let me tell you a little bit about AG1. It's made up of 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients that provide nutrients to your body, your brain, and gut health. We can see all the guys over here at the dumbbells curling. We got Davian doing some pull-ups. What's your strategy with the pull-ups? Activate the lats. Activate the lats, okay. Front relax, back relax. I like that. It's all in the lats, baby. I used to be a massive coffee drinker. I would have five to six, potentially seven cups of coffee every single day. But ever since taking AG1, I have a steady boost of energy throughout the entire day that sustains and I don't have a crash. And I was able to cut my coffee in half. We've got some lateral raises going on. You can never be too wide in bodybuilding. We've got some rear delts. Looking juicy right now. But the most important thing about AG1 is that it tastes really good. Jason? All right. Okay, I want you to have some AG1. I just All want right. you to be honest. Just, right. just be honest. I'll be honest. Okay. Do you like greens powder? You know, I've only ever tried it once growing up. The ones you get from like Walmart or something like that. And it's one of those ones where you have to plug your nose while you drink it because it's so nasty. Plug it? Okay. Yeah, it's that bad. So now let's I'm see. nervous. Shake it. Shake it up. All right, Nico, what's like the strategy right now? You're doing a lot of delt work. Yeah, get the shoulders going. Yeah. The arms. Okay. Just anything that can really pop out. Yeah. Brandon, the vascularity's coming out. Oh yeah, big time. I kinda wanna give you a vaccine right now, holy shit. <laughs> that's, that's kinda nice, it almost tastes like a bit like, like sweet. Yeah? Don't you almost taste some kind of like chocolate? I get like coconut. You get chocolate. Yeah. But Dude, that's I, I crazy. Like I, I, chocolate I, and a greens powder. <laughs> I'll take it. So if you guys use my link in the description, you're gonna get a one year free supply of AG vitamin D and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. You guys have 30 seconds.
20 seconds. Get your last bit of movements in. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop what you're doing. I see some pretty beefy men right now. Whew. Time for the bodybuilding show. Nico's up first, let's go. Your 15 seconds starts in three, two, one, go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Does anybody have singles right now? Like, <laughs> three, two, one, time. Good job. I'm Thoughts on that? Already. You're suspicious of that one? Uh, yeah, I wasn't, yeah, it wasn't a quarter turn. It's a bit tough, because I already think we really eliminated who the power lifter was. Was that your quarter turn that you did up there? Like here? Yeah. Like here, yeah. You, like you need a new posing coach, my friend. Like, oh! Uh, he just says, this is how you start. This is a, like just for like... That's, that's, a bad, that's a bad quarter turn. <laughs> the biggest one that I really wanted to show was like more of my back. He was like pretty much just rushing himself when he was like posing. He wants me to go up, bring it down, and then flex out. Okay. And did just do that's another fair, flex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, back like I'm that. less suspicious now. That's actually, okay. yeah. Right. You sitting back like, is a good, yeah. a good I, indicator. It's a toss up this time because those quarter turns, like those, those were not good quarter turns, especially for somebody that's worked with a coach. But then I saw Brandon. All right, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> oh, is the shirt coming off? Right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. Boeing 737 right here. Yeah. Wide. He was like, like pretty much just rushing himself when he was like, like posing. Was like, Time. Okay, nice. Thoughts? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I mean, the I actually biggest like thing. The, like, I like the transition. I like the men's physique yeah. transition there too. Brandon doing his back double. His legs were just all wrong. So I don't know. All right, who's next? I'll go. Oh, oh, oh. 15 seconds starting now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's smooth. I think we should be playing the weekend right now. Oh, okay. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Oh, nice. That, nice. What do you think? Yeah, what do you... Last, but that was good. Okay. That was good. Yeah. I, I was hoping that we'd see a quarter turn from you. All right, and last but not least, okay. Davian. <clears throat> oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. This is some confident posing. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Abs of five, solid. That was great. Good. Holy shit. I like it. Can I touch the abs? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> They're in the cooler. The rebound's been, the rebound's been good. Nope. Nothing to say. Man, I don't know. Fantastic. I know, I, like, I, I'm lost. I don't know what to do, but you guys have to vote now. So it turns out that we have a tie between Nico and Brandon. So you guys need to break the tie. To me, it is so incredibly obvious. I don't know how anybody doesn't see this. I think we got our final three. We had another tie between Brandon and Nico. So we actually got the guys who were eliminated to come in because they were watching the entire time to see what they thought. And they both agreed. The person going home right now is Brandon. Good job, man. Get out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I was nicer, but the final three for this round, it's just going to be a thing of show and tell. Okay. You're going to pick a lift that you find to be impressive by your own standards, and you're going to show it to the other two. I'm going to give you guys two minutes to warm up, and then we are going to start. We're going to start with Davian first. Okay. okay? So I know you said lift, but we're talking about what's the most impressive. And my posing coach said that my back is my most impressive feature. So what I'm gonna be doing is not a lift, but I'm gonna be doing some wide grip pull-ups. Oh, okay. 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 If I take my shirt off. Of course you can. Oh, that's Absolutely. Fair. I, I love that. Okay. Okay. You guys find this impressive? Yeah. Yeah. Chin-ups are not easy to do. 
I will take that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Sander, you're next. Okay, I'm gonna throw some leg press on. Oh, damn. Amazing, man. Yeah. yeah, it's nice and deep. Nice. You find solid. that to be impressive? Yeah. 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 I mean, that, that ankle mobility is quite impressive. Yeah. It's like what a power lifter would have. Because, <laughs> like I'm just saying. Yeah. Last but not least, Nico. Um, so I, I decided to go with the incline dumbbell bench. Okay. I think, uh, especially in bodybuilding, a lot of people, they have a lackluster chest. Like, I'm not going to point anyone out. I also have oh. a small chest, okay? Um, but yeah, I love incline dumbbell press. So with inclines, it's a little bit better. I try to stay tight, keep my back nice and tight so I'm just using <laughs> When I come down half of my pec, press right back up, come right back down, press right back up. Looks good. Yeah. It was a good look. Yeah. yeah. Good description. Good, good form, yeah. Like we're all PTs. Or yeah, something. damn. Yeah. <laughs> everyone come over here. It was good. We have everyone around us right now. So, there's the three of you left. Mm -hmm. We can end the game right now. If you guys can unanimously decide that the power lifter is out of the group, but if you guys unanimously decide that you guys are not power lifters and the power lifter is still in the group, he's gonna take all the money. So what do you guys think? I think we got rid of him. I think we did. I too. think we. I, I feel think, good. I think it was. This so guy's been talking we're about good. classic bodybuilders. Yeah. Like, all day. I think, this guy knows what he's talking I about. I think we got them out. I, yeah. I know for a fact that we were there. Yeah. And like what I've seen and what we've talked about, I think we've got the power. Power lifter. I, I think so too. Like I would say, just the last round, hint, hint. Like getting an injury, like that's a big no-no. Like four or five. Squad. Yeah. I'm thinking he's a lightweight. Based on body weight like too, yeah, it's a big, yeah. it's a big thing. Five, so yeah, like 100% confident, 100%, 100%, 100%. Okay, power lifters, yeah. power lifters, I feel good. I want, feel on the count of three, for the power lifter to show themselves. Three, two, one, who is it? No! no! It's Rico! Okay, tell me, what are your lifts? What are your lifts? So my highest deadlift was 635, squat 501, and then bench 340, so I do do barbell bench. Wow, uh, oh my god, no. Yeah, no. I was saying for sure it's gonna be Brandon, um, but here I am, I'm the fool, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just lost of words. I'm just- That's You fool them all, man, so you get all the, okay. 100. Okay, wow. perfect. Oh, 200. Nice. 300 and Jim Sharks me matching with a $300 gift card. Holy Jeez. smoke, that's amazing. Thank, Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, the video's done. Yeah. Good job.